Welcome back to Pile Buck's Pile Driving video series. In this series, we'll be covering everything you need to know pertaining to pile driving, including the various types of equipment, methods, piles, accessories, and much more. In this video, we're going to discuss equipment selection and provide an overview of the driving system. But before we begin, we want to quickly thank our sponsor who helped make this video possible, ECA, Equipment Corporation of America. Since 1918, the go-to provider for heavy construction equipment, furnishing contractors with the most advanced and reliable foundation equipment in the world. Now back to the video. The Evolution of Pile Driving Equipment Pile driving equipment has evolved significantly over the years, from simple handheld hammers to modern hydraulic and vibratory hammers that are capable of driving piles faster, deeper, and more efficiently. Some of the key developments include early pile driving involved manual labor and handheld hammers, which were used to drive wooden piles into the ground. In the late 1800s, steam-powered hammers were developed that used steam pressure to drive the pile. In the early 1900s, diesel-powered hammers were developed, which provided greater driving force and improved efficiency. In the 1950s, hydraulic hammers were introduced, which used hydraulic pressure to drive the pile and can be more precise and more efficient than earlier hammer types. In the 1960s, vibratory hammers were developed. Using a vibratory action to drive the pile into the ground, vibratory hammers can be especially useful in soil that has a high resistance to driving or in a situation where noise and vibration level needs to be minimized. In recent years, computerized control systems such as pile driving analyzers, they've been developed and that allows for greater precision and control over the driving process, as well as real-time monitoring and data collection. Overview of the driving system. A pile driving system is defined as a set of equipment and components that is used to install piles into the ground to support structures or other loads. The typical pile driving system consists of the following. The pile, the structural element that's driven into the ground to support a load. The hammer, the device that delivers the impact to the pile to drive it into the ground. Leads, a framework or guide system that's used to position and guide the hammer and pile during driving. Cushion, a protective object that's placed between the hammer and the pile to help protect both from damage during driving. Helmet, that's a steel cap or shoe that's attached to the pile to help distribute the impact force of the hammer during driving. Power source. The source of power, such as a diesel engine or compressor that's used to operate the hammer. Monitoring equipment. Sensors and instruments that are used to monitor and measure the driving process, such as pile penetration, blow count, and vibration levels. Rigging and lifting equipment. Equipment used to position, lift, and move the pile and hammer, such as cranes, winches, and hoist. Personal protective equipment or PPE. Safety equipment like hard hats, earplugs, and safety glasses. Everything worn by workers to protect them from potential hazard during the driving process. It's important to note that all of these components of the driving system have an effect on the performance of the hammer and how the hammer transfers energy to a pile. Like what you see? Be sure and crush that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification icon so you're notified whenever we release a new pile driving video. We appreciate your support. Pile Hammer Selection When selecting a pile hammer, the following must be considered. The pile type and properties of the pile being driven, such as material, shape, size, and length. For example, steel piles may require a different type of hammer than concrete piles due to the different properties and behavior during driving. Soil conditions. The soil type 
density, and other properties at the site where the pile is being driven. For example, if the soil at the site is hard and dense, it may require a pile hammer with a higher driving force to achieve the desired pile penetration rate. In contrast, if the soil is loose or soft, a hammer with a lower driving force may be more appropriate to avoid damaging the pile or the surrounding soil. The driving method being used, such as impact, vibratory, or press-in. For example, if the site is in an urban area where minimizing noise and vibration is a priority, a vibratory hammer might be used for pile driving as it generates less noise and vibration than an impact hammer. The required driving force refers to the amount of energy that's needed to drive the pile to the desired depth and achieve the necessary bearing capacity. This can be influenced by a variety of factors such as soil conditions, pile properties, and the desired pile capacity, and can differ significantly depending on the specific project requirements. Energy efficiency or the efficiency of the hammer in terms of energy consumption and output. For example, in most cases, a hydraulic hammer may be more energy efficient than a diesel hammer as it uses hydraulic pressure to deliver energy to the pile rather than relying on combustion. Access and mobility. The ease of transportation, setup, and operation of the hammer at the site including factors like size, weight, and power requirements. For example, if the site's located in a remote or inaccessible area, a smaller, more compact hammer might be used. In contrast, if the site is easily accessible, a larger hammer may be used, which can achieve higher driving force and possible greater efficiency. The level of noise and vibration generated by the hammer during driving and whether it meets regulatory requirements or project specifications. Factors like hammer type, driving method, and soil conditions can impact the level of noise and vibration generated. Cost and availability. Of course, the cost of the hammer, availability of spare parts and service, and other factors related to procurement and maintenance should be considered. For example, if the project's on a tight budget, a used or rental hammer might be a more cost-effective option than purchasing a new hammer. All these factors should be carefully considered during hammer selection. This is just a simple list with minimal information. We'll discuss each factor in greater detail in upcoming videos. In addition, there's available literature at the pilebuck.com store. Penetration Limitations in order to monitor the pile driving process and ensure that the pile is driven to the appropriate depth and capacity, the rate of penetration, defined as the number of blows delivered by the hammer per unit length of pile penetration, is a crucial element and it cannot be overlooked. During pile driving, blow counts are recorded in the field on a per foot basis until the pile approaches a designated tip elevation or the end of driving. At that point, the blow count is typically recorded for each inch of penetration. This information is then used to determine the relative capacity attained during driving and to prevent overdriving, which can cause structural damage to the pile. Overdriving occurs when the pile is driven too far into the ground and it results in permanent deformation or damage to the pile structure. Limited penetration rates are specified to prevent overdriving and provide guidance for determining the relative capacity attained during driving. These rates are the maximum allowable number of blows per unit length of pile penetration. Limiting penetration rates may be impacted by the type and properties of the pile, soil conditions, and the driving method being used. Pile tip damage due to very difficult driving, commonly referred to as refusal, can occur when the pile encounters an obstruction or a hard bearing stratum prior to reaching the indicated tip elevation. Keep in mind that damage like this may not be easily detectable, so it's essential to specify the criteria needed to determine limiting rates to prevent overdriving and maintain the pile's structural integrity. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, ECA. Visit ecanet.com or call 800 Pile USA.
to view their impressive lineup of drilling and pile driving rigs and other deep foundations equipment.